Yo, what is up guys? It is Mark here and today we have a tutorial which is going to help you be able to do 2D motion tracking in After Effects CS6. Firstly, before we do anything, you need to make sure you have 3D camera tracker. I think that is part of After Effects. I'm actually not 100% sure. But um, if you don't have it, then just it's quite easy to get, hopefully. So um, yeah, just download that first. Now, this is what you're going to be able to do today. You're going to be able to make this. Oh wait, I'll just play it. You see it's like motion tracked. Quite smoothly actually. Without using any other programs, it's just After Effects. So as you can see that is perfect. There you go, it's kinda of blurry but you can see the outline. So first of all, we'll just create a new um tab thing. Which I don't recall really it. Um just delete everything anyway. Okay, so first of all, you want to type in your 3D camera tracker and just drag it into your. Wait, before they got one in here, wait there. Right, you want to drag it in here and it's going to say analyzing in background, step one out of two. So you just want to just chill, go and do something like go and watch some videos or something, I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you like to do while you're waiting and stuff. So I'm not going to wait on this with you because it's going to take a little while, so. Um, yeah, it's going to take. It's going to show you the frame up there and the percentage. So just make sure you keep an eye on that, and then once you're done, I'll come back to you. So won't be long, guys. So guys, uh, after that is done, uh, you want to just look at the points you've got, and it might not be the exact same motion track as me. Uh, motion track, um, not with video, whatever you want to call it, um, as me. But you need to look for a point which is based. I, I tend to go for the ones on the on a wall like this, um, but you need to make sure it, it's like in line, you see, like the wall is in line with this. Whatever you want the text to be, you want the motion track, uh, the tech, uh, the motion track points to be like parallel to it. So you want, say I want to put the text like kind of in line with the wall, so along the wall you want the text to be, well you choose these points. So the more points the better. So if you have all these points in a line, that's perfect. So you should be able to see that um, the points were, were actually on the wall. I'll show you again. Right. Just, just highlight them all. Just click and drag. See, you can see like the bullseye is on the wall. That is what you want if that's what you're if that's what you're aiming for. So you you get your text and just you can change the text obviously. So I'll just change it to um, with that. Change to Mark. <laughs> Love heart. <laughs> there we go, Mark. And then once you've done that, that's you done basically. All you need to do is just move it about. So I want it there, in line with the wall still, and that's you. It's all in line. Motion, motion tracked. There you go. That's it, guys. Very small tutorial, but <laughs> so useful. If you want it higher, put it up higher. There you go. Motion tracked fully. That's the way it works, guys. It's really easy. It's slow. If you have that 3D camera tracker, that's it. Look, look that. There you go. All you need to do is just add in a color correction, and that's you. So, guys, this has been the tutorial. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And that would be awesome. And make sure to look and uh, check out my videos in the future because there's going to be a lot more tutorials. And if you have any t tutorial suggestions, then I will do them. So just comment below. And thank you for watching. Bye.